Okay, so I saw a comment on my one of my recent videos saying that you wanted a tutorial. And it was for this build right here, the capybara. <laughs> Um, I haven't actually done a tutorial before, but we'll see how we go. This isn't really too complicated of a build, to be honest with you. It's it's pretty simple to do, it's pretty easy, and it's fun to make as well, and it looks cute. And you can also transform it and repurpose it into other things. As you can see, I have pretty much used the same build, but transformed it into a reindeer for Christmas. So. There's, there's other things that you can do with it if you put your mind to it, you know? Uh, so let's get into the tutorial. Well, you'll need brown concrete, black concrete, grey concrete, white concrete powder, and then brown terracotta. Ignore this white wall in my inventory. <laughs> um, you don't need that. Um, I haven't built the capybara in survival yet, so I don't fully know how much supplies you need. But I have built the reindeer in survival, and it roughly used about nearly three stacks of brown concrete. And you don't need a lot of the other supplies. Uh, you only need two white white concrete powder, quite literally. Uh, you you just you don't need a lot in general. And you could you could get rid of the brown terracotta altogether if you wanted to. That's just there for extra effect, like the chest right here, that's just there for better looks pretty much. I thought the ears looked a bit cuter, like that from the front. If you wanted to, you could realistically just do the ears like this, and that would still look cute. But in my opinion, it looks cute from this side, but it doesn't look that good from this side. So. Uh, I ended up going with the brown terracotta ears, but it's completely up to you what you guys do when it comes to the ears. So the brown terracotta part of the build, it's up to you what you do with them. But for the rest of the build, let's get into it. Basically what you're going to do is we're going to start with the legs. So we're just going to place four brown concrete right there, just like that on top of each other. And then we're going to go out three, or forward three, technically. And then we're just going to make it kind of a block, just like that. Then on the end of that, we're going to put black concrete, four black concrete on top of each other, just like that. And then if you go back to the back of your build, we're going to go from the legs again. And we're going to go out four. Well, we're going to go to the right by four. So one, two, three, four. That's, that's, that's the wrong place. Then we're going to go backwards one, and that's your little tail. Yes, I did that right. I'm just making sure. Then you're going to build it up one. Then you're going to go across three again. Just like that. And then that's pretty much the back of your capybara. And then we're going to go out two again. Just like that. And then we're going to go forward three. Just like that. And then, you guessed it, we're going to put black on the edge. Just like that. And that's pretty much your two feet. Now what we're going to do is diagonally from both the feet, we're going to add four black laying on the floor. Just like that. And then we're going to go up three again. Just like that. On both of them. And then that's all four feet done now. Now what we're going to do is in the middle of your front feet, just here, you're going to grab your brown terracotta, or like I said, if you're in survival and you don't want to use brown terracotta, or if you don't have it at the current moment, then you can just use brown concrete. It's totally up to you. That's for if you're in survival. Or you can try it in creative too, it's really up to you. Um, but we're going to grab our brown terracotta and we're going to go three, just like that, in the middle. And we're going to go up to the same height as the legs, just like that. And then we're going to go up one more, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the side by one on each side. 
And if that didn't, if any of what I'm saying doesn't make sense to you at any point, just look at the video and hopefully it'll make sense from what I'm doing and not what I'm saying. Because I suck at English. <laughs> um, now basically what we're going to do, we're just going to fill in the gaps with brown concrete, just like that. And that's basically the front of your capybara done. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in the rest with brown concrete. Only, so go to the height as what we just did, go to the same height as the front, and then put all the side, bring all the sides up with brown concrete up to the same as the front. Just like that. And I'm just going to go quickly around just in case you didn't understand what I said once again. So it's at the same height as the front, but it's all the way around in brown concrete. Okay, and that's pretty much the body of your capybara done. Now we're going to go onto the head. So all of the sides, the sides basically say stay the same as the body. So the side of the head is the same block, is on the same block as the body. That's for the sides. So you can pretty much just bring your side up by one again, just like that. And then at the back of the build, we're going to go out by one and then bring it in, connect it to each other. Now, if you go to the front, we're going to bring it out by three, just like that, on each side, by three. And then just connect it to each other. Now, for the survival players out there, we're just going to save materials and we're only going to fill in these two parts right here with brown concrete and then you basically just have a hollow capybara. Now there's no need to fill in the rest of this so we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Because that's just we're not even we're not gonna use the inside of this. Unless you're gonna turn it into a house, we don't need to use the inside, so there's no point filling it all in. Just fill in those two blocks so that you don't see a gap underneath here. Go to any of the corners on the head like on this platform that you just made, go to any of the corners and bring it up by four, three, four, just like that. Leave it at that and then put another four on the other corner at the front, just like that. And then just pretty much bring it up by four on each of your corners at first, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the back and the sides, but not the front. So connect the back and the sides to each other, just like that at the top but not the front. Now what we're going to do at the front is we're going to grab our grey concrete and we're going to connect it at the top with grey concrete, just like that. Then we're going to find our middle three blocks underneath the grey concrete and then we're going to build down by two in those middle three blocks. If you Again, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I just opened my chat by accident. <laughs> if you don't understand what I'm saying, just watch what I'm doing. And now we're going to get those three middle blocks again on the very bottom of the square of the rectangle. The rectangle. We're going to grab the very, the very three, the three middle. Oh my god. <laughs> we're going to grab the three middle blocks at the very bottom of the head and then we're going to make it black concrete. That took me way too long to say. And that's pretty much the face of the capybara done. And then we're just going to fill the front in with brown concrete. And you can also go to the back and fill that in with grey concrete. Grey concrete. You can go to the back and fill that in with brown concrete as well. Sorry. And then you can also fill the top in with brown concrete as well. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the sides. And on the bottom do one row of brown concrete on the bottom on each side just like how I'm doing right now and then on this side so the closest side to the back of the capybara you're gonna leave four blocks and then just fill the rest in with brown concrete so you should have four blocks sorry my, my voice said we're gonna have four blocks on the side that's closest to the back of the capybara. Just like that. We're gonna put three black concrete. 
on the in kind of a backwards L shape in those four blocks that we just left. And then on the one that's still there, put your white concrete powder. Then that will make kind of your eye. And on the other side, do the same thing, but this one will be an actual L, not a backwards L. Uh, so, kind of depends which side you're doing it on. Do apologize, like I said, if you don't understand, just, just watch what I'm doing. <laughs> and then that will make your two eyes for the capybara. Now, like I did say in the intro, my voice is slowly dying. <laughs> like I did say in the intro, you can do what you feel like with the ears. You can either do it with brown concrete, just like that. Or you can do it with your brown terracotta, like this. Now, it really just depends on what you think looks better. Uh, when I did the brown terracotta, I kind of wanted to give it kind of a fluffy look. And I also just wanted to give it that different color to make it look a little bit just kind of separate the colors a little bit but and I kind of like how it sticks out from the rest of the build because the entire side is kind of just on the same level except for the legs so I wanted to kind of add that depth with the ears but it is up to you which one you want to do because both look pretty good to be honest but once you've done that that's pretty much your capybara done and now I just have two capybaras in my world. <laughs> we have our capybara now. And he's very cute. And I like this build a lot. So I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. If you guys want any of my other builds to be put into, to, to, into a tutorial, <laughs> then just leave a comment because I pretty much spend half of my time building on this game to be completely honest with you. I love building on this game. So if you want any of my builds to become a tutorial, then just comment down below and I'll make a tutorial of it. Unless I don't know how I built it. That might be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys want a tutorial on this guy right here, Rudolph, then just let me know. But I doubt that you guys will need a tutorial. If you do, I still will do one, but it's basically just the same as the capybara with a couple slight changes to it. But with that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderfully blessed day, night, morning, afternoon, whatever you are. I hope you are having a good one. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya.